Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hani and Gretchen Bake series is back and this month we are celebrating cinnamon. Gretchen made this delicious cinnamon bread and you can learn how to make it too on her YouTube channel. Just be sure to click on an image. It will take you to a tutorial or you can also find a link after you watch this video down below in the description box. And I'm gonna show you braided cinnamon star bread. I've been meaning to make this kind of bread for a while so finally I had some time. Let's do it. You're gonna need flour, a little bit of salt, oil, melted butter, granulated sugar, egg yolks, vanilla extract, milk, and also I'm using dry yeast. To prepare the yeast mixture, I'm going to add a little bit of granulated sugar to my yeast and then warm milk that is about 110 to 115 degrees of Fahrenheit. You don't want to use hot milk because it will kill the yeast. Then you're gonna whisk it together and let it sit for five minutes. Now you can uh, combine all the wet ingredients. whisk to combine and then you can set this aside. Sift the flour, add salt, granulated sugar. I'm going to give it a quick stir to combine all of the ingredients and then we can add yeast and milk butter egg yolk mixture. I'm going to knead this on low speed until the dough comes together. Take the dough out of the bowl and knead it for a few minutes until it forms a ball. Spray the bowl with nonstick spray or you can brush it with oil. Place the dough into your bowl, cover it with plastic wrap and let it rise for 90 minutes in a warm spot in your house. Once risen, we can remove the plastic wrap. Dust your work surface with a little bit of flour. I'm going to give it a quick knead until I have a ball formed. And then using a knife or you can use a bench scraper, divide the dough into four sections. For the filling I'm using sagin, cinnamon and brown sugar. And you're also going to need room temperature butter. Take one piece of the dough and roll it out into about 12 inches across. Put a parchment paper on top, flip it so you have the parchment paper on the bottom. This way, once the bread is made, we can easily transfer it onto a baking sheet. To make a perfect circle so my bread looks really pretty, I'm using a large dinner plate and I pressed it into the dough so I have a clear indentation around. Now take the butter and brush it on top of the dough. Now you can sprinkle a generous amount of cinnamon sugar on the top. Add another layer of dough. And then repeat the process until you used up all of the dough. So basically we have we have four layers of dough and three layers of filling. 
This is a really versatile recipe. You can use Nutella. I actually seen this done with Nutella first, but I can see this done with uh, walnut filling, even a little bit of chocolate or cream cheese. Now take the plate and a sharp knife and cut around the edge. Now, you don't have to throw out the scraps, you can also use them to make uh, small cinnamon buns. Take a smaller cup and make an indentation in the center, and then using a sharp knife, divide the circle into sections. And here comes the fun part. Take two pieces and twist them in opposite direction and then gently press down to seal them. See, I'm twisting them away from each other. One is going clockwise, one is going Now fold the edges under. Once you are done, we have to let this rise again. I'm going to transfer the whole thing onto the baking sheet that I'll be using to bake this and I'm going to let it rise for another 60 minutes. Now I'm going to brush it with a simple egg wash. I just whisked one egg and I added one tablespoon of water. Here are the cute little cinnamon buns or these are the scraps that we, we used uh, to make uh, cinnamon buns. Also brush those with a little bit of egg wash. And now I'm using vanilla sugar. If you don't have vanilla sugar, you can use brown sugar or granulated sugar and just sprinkle some on top. We're going to bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once baked, let it cool for a little bit and then transfer it onto a plate. I'm going to clean up the edge there because it got dirty. And now it's time to taste. I absolutely love how this turned out. First, I love anything cinnamon and I also love layered desserts. So two of my favorite things in one, what's not to love, right? And also what's great about this bread is that you can actually make it savory and use pizza dough and make pizza. It's perfect for a dinner party and you can have a little dip on the side. So let me know what you think guys in the comment section. And also don't forget to check out how to make cinnamon bread over at Gretchen's Bakery. If you are new to our Honey and Gretchen Bake series, be sure to check out our past collaborations. I'm going to include a link to these down below in the description box under the video. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time.